Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see what is system.out.println. So, you might have used this many times, okay? But it may be possible that you are not aware of this, that what is this system.out.println, right? Here, there are three things, okay? System, out and println. So, in the interview, you might be asked that explain system.out.println. Okay, so basically the other person is trying to check with you that are you aware of what is system, what is out and what is println. Okay, so that's what we are going to see in this video. So watch the video till the end. So before we come to this point, okay, that what is system, out and println, let's take one example so that you can easily relate with these things, okay, system, out and println. So here we have two classes, okay, the first is final class student. And the another one is subject class. Now, inside the subject class, we have public void hello method. Okay, simple method, nothing inside it. Now, inside the student class, we have one object of subject that is sub in short, I said, okay, we have initialized it and that is static. So, static we know, right, in Java, the concept of static is there is only one copy of this object for all the student objects. So, basically, Static object we refer with the name of class, right? It has nothing to do with the student class object. So that is the concept of Java, okay? And applicable to all the static variables. So this sub is type of subject and it's static variable, okay? Now say for example, we want to call this hello method from this main, okay? So what we can do, we have student class, okay? Now inside that we have this static object of subject, right? So we can directly refer to this object with class name of student. So student dot sub and then we want to call out this method hello. Okay. So we got the object of subject that is sub. So let's call the method hello. There you go. So this is the final class and inside that we have one static variable type of subject and inside the subject we have one hello method. Now Let's compare this two, okay? See, system, if you are using any ID, okay, Eclipse, Spring Tool Shoot, IntelliJ IDEA, whatever, just press Control and click on this one, okay? See, this is public final class system inside the Java Lang package, okay? And this is available from JDK1, starting of the Java, okay? The first version of Java. So, this is final class system. Here we have final class student. Now, Inside the system, we have this out, which is static variable of type print stream. Here we have static variable of type subject. Okay. But inside the system, we have this static variable of print stream that is out. Ignore the null. Okay. How this is initializing? We don't need to care about it. Okay. That Java will handle it. Okay. When we run our application. Okay. So when we run our application, this will be handled. So ignore this one. So this is static variable of type print stream. Now let's go back and this println is method inside the print stream class. So this method has one string parameter. Okay. And here this hello doesn't have, that's the difference, but that's fine. Okay. This is the method. So you can easily compare now. Okay. This is one final class system inside that you have one static variable of time print stream and print stream has one method that is print ln. This print stream class is from Java IO package. Okay. So this is what you need to say. If someone says you that, can you explain system dot out dot print ln? Okay. Let me comment it out over here. So what you can say system. Okay. So this is final class from Java lang package. Okay. And out. So this is static variable of type print stream okay and inside the print stream class we have method as println okay so method inside this class print stream class so this is the method so this is what you need to say okay system is a final class from java lang package out is a static variable inside the system class and that is type of print stream and println method is inside the print stream class. 
this student and subject i took as an example so that you can easily relate with this system.out.println this kind of question you might be asked in the interview for java developer profile so that's all for now if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell like the video do comment in the comment section and share with your friends we'll see you in the another video till then happy learning and Happy coding!